So when I see a problem like this, and I can almost guarantee you will see one on tomorrow's test, might be a free response, might be multiple choice, I don't know. You're gonna look at it and you're gonna see that denominator and you're gonna see that radical six. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of six. Now in the numerator, all I can do is write it as three root six. But the denominator now, I have root six times root six, so that becomes just a six. Not a 2.6, but two times six, right? So I now have three times the square root of six all divided by 12. Okay, and that is definitely a fraction that now has a rational denominator because the 12 is a rational number. But it's not in simplest form because 3 twelfths can be simplified, right? I can divide that by 3, divide that by 3, and now I have 1 times root 6, which is root 6, all divided by 4. And that is that fraction with a rational denominator and in simplest form. That also brings us to a conclusion of this particular review. Right? So we went through this entire test. Let me see if I can bring us all the way back up to the top. 